Okay, so I was sleeping and doing nothing important for my life when I suddenly remembered. Oh yeah, I was making a Geometry Dash level. As soon as I remembered about it, I went back to sleep. But don't worry, because as soon as I woke up, I decided to continue making the level. By the way, this is how it is looking like so far. I made this entire part in a video and now I'm gonna do the next part in this video. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so for the next part of this level, I wanted to go for something simpler this time. And yeah, I know what you might be thinking. The last time I said I was gonna do something simpler, I ended up doing this. But this time, I'm gonna try my best to control myself. I promise, I was a little bit out of ideas at first, so I started to look for inspiration. And after seeing some cool levels, I came across to this old Laser Blitz one, and it really gave me some good ideas. I thought about making some kind of Laser Blitz-like decoration, except I would use my own style for it. So yeah, that's what I started to do. I started making some square shaped blocks and I don't know about you, but I have a really big problem related to decorating squares. It's just that whenever I see a square on my screen, the only thing that comes to my mind is to spam more squares into it, just like that. And it's always been like this. I see a square, I spam squares. But this time I decided that I would not do that. I decided I would try hard to make something different just for this specific one. So instead of just spamming, I started to make some kind of pillar inside it. And as you can see here, I was clearly failing on my mission. I started making a lot of random outlines and a lot of senseless stuff. I mean, look at that. I was just breaking my mind at this point. So yeah, since I couldn't think about anything else to do, I just ended up spamming squares anyway. I mean, at least I did some glow lasers and some lines around it. It's some progress already. After finishing that square, it was time to start making my favorite part of the decoration, the spikes. And as you guys know, all my spikes are pretty much the same thing. I usually just place a spike on the screen and just spam a lot of other spikes into it, just like that. But this time, I decided that I would do something different on them as well. So instead of just making a spike and spamming it, as I always do, I made two spikes and spammed them. I mean, at least it looks quite different from my regular ones. I guess. After finishing the spikes, I copied and pasted the squares a little bit over the part because I'm gonna add some moves on them later on. And then I decided to make a giant saw on the next section because I don't know, I just thought that would look cool. And as you can see here, I'm just placing many circles, each one inside the other. And while I was doing it, I realized, oh my God, I really like spamming things, don't I? Anyways, after it, I decided to make a sort of a star in the middle of this saw because I thought it would fit. And to finish it, I put a gigantic glow at the top of it all. And surprisingly, it looked good. So far, this part was looking pretty cool, but it wasn't even close to being done. I still had to make the air deco, the moves, and the background. And for the air deco here, I really wanted to make some kind of laser blitz like thing. So I started placing a lot of lines and arrows just like that. And I put some glow in the middle of it. So it looked more attractive. Also, I decided to put some decoration in front of the blocks. So it feels a little less empty on this spot. But I would regret doing that later because I realized that as soon as you enter the ship portal, you can clearly see the bottom part of the decoration and it looked extremely ugly. Oh my god. Believe me, I tried to fix it in many ways. 
The first thing I did was to put some ground spikes in front of it, just like that, but it ended up looking very ugly, so I just removed it. Despite not wanting to do it, the only actual good option I had was to make a custom ground on this part. I hate this game. So yeah, I started making a whole custom ground, just for the sake of fixing a minor visual bug. But since I was pretty lazy to make anything good here, I just spammed a lot of lines and glow on it. And surprisingly, it actually ended up looking pretty good, to be honest. Way better than what I expected, for sure. After making the custom ground, I started making the moves on the block. And now, you can see better what I wanted for this part. I wanted to make all these blocks move at the same time, just like what Laser Blitz does. And I must admit that doing it was way harder than I thought. Like... I had to be really careful not to turn this whole section into an extreme demon by making the blocks move too fast. Doing that is actually way harder than it looks, okay? After doing it, I decided to spam some more circles onto the giant saw blade section just for it to look a little less empty, you know? I also made some edges on it so it looks like a giant star and it actually looks pretty cool. And of course, I made it all rotate to give a bit more of dynamism to the part. For the ground spikes, I put some slopes and some very simple details on them. And seeing it now, it kinda looks like some modern level thing, but I still like it anyway. And then I copied and pasted it over the part, just like that. Now, what you guys are about to witness is basically the peak of the humanity laziness. I don't think there is anyone who's lazier than me after what I did, but basically I just took the entire first section and copy pasted it to the section right after, just like that. Except I changed the placement of some things like the giant saw and the blocks. And I gotta admit that doing it actually felt really good, not gonna lie. The only thing that I had to do was pretty much a background. But before doing it, I realized that some people could actually look at this giant and mortal and extremely dangerous soul and think, hmm, maybe it's harmless and nothing will happen if I go ahead and rub my face on it. So to avoid that, I'm gonna do this. This is the best way I found to prevent this accident to happen. After it, I started to make the background. And if you watched the other video I made building this level, you'll see that I literally made the background for the first part in like 3 minutes or something. But this time, I had an idea for it. I wanted to make a kind of a custom background for this part. I didn't just want to make some random objects behind everything, just moving leftwards. I wanted to make the player feel like it's entering a sort of room, if you get what I mean. So I started placing a lot of blocks behind everything, and then I put a lot of lines behind it all, so it feels like you're going to a sort of corridor or something like that. I know it doesn't look that great, and I probably could be done much better than that, but at least it works in the exact way I wanted, so I'm proud of it regardless. At this point, after doing the moves on the saws and air deco, the part was literally done. But before calling it a day and just going to the next one, I had a very nice idea. So recently I saw an old level made by R2 in which got me speechless. My favorite thing about it is its first transition for sure. So basically you think you're gonna continue playing the level normally when suddenly you teleport on to the next section absolutely out of nowhere. And oh boy, that looks really, really cool. In fact, it is so cool that I'm straight up stealing it. To achieve that effect, I'll pretty much just copy and paste the entire section to the next part. And then I'm gonna put an invisible portal right here before it starts. So while we were thinking you were just gonna keep playing the level normally, boom, you just teleport to a completely new section. And I honestly think it looks really cool. 